When a patient presents with progressive dyspnea or exercise intolerance and if he has history of acute pulmonary embolism in past or under anti even under anticoagulant for acute pulmonary embolism uh, and if he has risk factors for venous thromboembolism then one of the possibility can be uh, CTF that is chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension and the most sensitive test for diagnosis of CTF is uh, lung scan that is uh, ventilation perfusion lung scan uh, that is scintigraphy so let's suppose on lung scan uh, you get some perfusion defect so that does not confirm it is due to CTF it might be due to other conditions like uh, sarcoma veno occlusive disease uh, fibrosing metastenitis uh, extrinsic vascular compression so to rule those out you have to do CT pulmonary angiography and in uh, in CT pulmonary angiography, if you let's suppose those are not there, then it becomes more likely that it is due to CTF. And uh, to confirm that, you have to do digital subtraction angiography, uh, because the DSA is the gold standard for diagnosis of the uh, CTF. And after that, you can decide for uh, pulmonary thromboid